Hello everyone, and welcome to your new Let's Play. This one's gonna be Edna and Harvey the Breakout again. Because last time I tried to record this, I had my microphone positioned weirdly, so that it, uh, every time I kinda laughed, it would make a, a really annoying and really loud static noise. So yeah, I'm trying this again now. This is the special edition, as you can see down here. Special edition. Which means that it has an English translation and achievements, and also developer commentary, but the developer commentary is only in German, unfortunately, which is a real shame. But anyway, this, this is a game that, when it was first released in Germany, in 2008, I think, it was really well received. Everyone really liked this game, and it got a lot of Game of the Year awards, and 9 out of 10s, and yeah, on the packaging it has a lot of awards, anyway. <laughs> Yeah, people love this game, but then they made an English translation, I don't know, in two, 2000... I don't know when this came out, let me look, 2011 it says here. I... yeah. Anyway, when, when it released in, Eng in English, no one really liked it all that much anymore. And that's probably... This, the sole reason for that is probably that the English, English translation isn't all that great. But yeah, um... I think it's still really a, a really great game, even if the translation isn't isn't the best of the best, but it's still a really enjoyable game. And so yeah, I wanted to make a let's play of it, so let's let's get started. <laughs> Didelic presents if you pronounce it that way. A game by Pokey. Written and directed by Jan Müller Michaelis, executive pro producer Carsten Fichtelmann. Jukasta Gottlieb as Edna and Jonathan Tiley as T Tilly as Harvey. Music by Finn Sel Seliger. Programming by Olaf Kasper, Felix Engel and Jan Müller Michaelis. Character design, background art, and animation, Jan Miller Michaelis. It's really hard to switch between German and English pronunciations. Pa. Anyway, pa. There we go. That was, that was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's not really the best intro, but anyway. <laughs> The game's great, so it's fine. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doopy 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 doo. Pah! Pah! <laughs> uh, apologies for that. Alright, it's supposed to say Edna and Harvey the Breakout on the screen right now, but it isn't because programming in this game is kind of wonky as well, but it's fine. Okay, Edna, are you, are you gonna do anything? There we go, and the chair appeared out of the air. Yeah, the, the programming's not no, not top-notch, but it's fine. Everything works well, so... Anyway, what can we do? We are in a, in a padded cell, and we have a little bunny in our hands, which that's lovely, isn't it? He's actually in our inventory, so let's take a look at him. This is my old buddy Harvey. Right. All right. Can we use Harvey? Uh, okay, that. Never mind then. Talk to Harvey. Um. Hello. Hello, Edna. What's up? Uh. What is this place? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. Who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? And what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here and try to restore your memory. Mm, how's it going, Harv? How's it going, Harv? I'd be much better if we were out of here already. I'll go and have a look around then. I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. Okay, wonderful. So, 
Uh, actually, one, one function that I want to mention right away is you can press the space bar and you will see all the interact all the items you can interact with on the screen which is really really nice they should put this in every adventure game in my opinion anyway there's uh, like 50 billion paths here so let's look at one of them doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls yeah I agree it's, it, it seems kinda of practical as well um, talk to the pad are you the sound absorbing type of padding I'll take that as a yes Oh, Edna, you are the best. Okay, uh, there is a chair. My most generous hosts have granted me a whole chair. That's nice of them. Uh, as well as this door. It's locked. What did you expect? Yeah, I guess so. All right, um, Harvey, what what happens when we try to use you with the door as maybe a key or Can something? Can you help me open this door? Sure, I'll just get out my welding torch. But seriously, there must be a way to get out of here. Of course, there must be a way. This is an adventure game. All right, let's look at this amazing table. I'd like table. one of those for my deck. I wonder if I even had a deck. I can't seem to remember anything. Right, so we have lost our memory, which is quite commonplace in adventure games as well, and I guess games in general. Uh, Actually, one one thing when you when you press the space bar right here, you can see that we have a chair, as well as a chair leg. So that's a different that's a different thing we can interact with. So let's look at the oops the chair leg. There we go. And I just got a Skype message. Holy cow! Detachable chair So legs. don't go checking that. Junk from the discount furniture dealer. Whee! Uh, can we can we pick it up? Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. Wow, oh, that is quite impressive. Okay, let's talk to the chair leg. This is my new friend, Chairman Chairleg. Say hello, Chairman. He's shy. Oh. All right, can we use Harvey with the chair leg? Uh, Look, there we Harvey, I have detached a chair leg. You're like a carpenter. Except in reverse. If only it had a sharp edge. If only, if only. What do you plan on doing with a with a sharp with a sharp uh thingy, huh, Edna? What are, what are your plans? Okay, maybe there is still a grate here. Maybe we can try and uh break this on the grate. Let's see. If I apply the chair leg back here, and with a little bit of leverage. I broke it. Oh, there we go. Wonderful. All right, so now we have a broken chair leg. There's actually two ways you can do this. Um, uh, well, two ways that I know of. Maybe there's a third or a fourth one even. I, I don't know. But you can actually also just take the chair leg and slam it on the table. And it'll break as well. So yeah, this game has a few instances of different solutions to puzzles, which is very nice. All right, anyway, let's try and talk to the door. Hiya, door. How's it hanging today? I was feeling a little unhinged earlier, but I'm feeling better now. In fact, I'm experiencing a perverse satisfaction from blocking your way. I hate you, door. Yeah, I do too. Wow, that door is a dick. All right, let's talk to the great. Maybe, maybe he's nicer. Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Well, I'm not sure what we can do about this, Harvey. I mean, we don't really have that many options. We still have this broken chair leg. But I think I want to keep talking to this guy and see what happens. Hey. Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Oh, Jesus. Where am I? Where am I? Honey, if I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Oh, he's a joker. Great. Who am I? You are by far the most annoying patient I've ever had to guard. 
patient. Am I sick then? I certainly don't feel sick. Listen, sweetie, you're in a room with padded walls. Why don't you try to figure it out for yourself? Mm, I'm not insane. I'm not insane. Isn't that so, Harvey? Right, she isn't insane. Do you hear? Harvey agrees. <laughs> you really are an odd couple, the both of you. <laughs> the both of you. Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. Ah, oh, Jesus, this guy is really annoying. Uh, why is it so hot why in here? Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding. That does make much more sense, of course. Interesting. Okay, I've, I've got an idea now. Just forget it. I've got better things to do than chat with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe we can find the air conditioner behind one of these pads. Alright, so let's go check each and every one of them. That is beautiful. Okay, let's keep going. This is only going to take a couple of years. Okay, so you can actually skip the slashing sound, which is very nice. Okay, uh, am I actually doing three? Nope. Okay, on the, on the other wall there's three rows. Alright. Did you notice how I conveniently left out one? I wonder why I did that. I just kind of want to ruin everything in this cell because it's fun. Because it lets you do this, which is wonderful. This is like so much extra work as well. It's all, all these sprites is of the of the uh, cuts here. They had to add all this in. And it's so lovely that they let you do this. So you kinda have to, I mean seriously, why would you not do this? Can you even reach up that high, Edna? Uh, okay, I guess I guess it does. I guess you can reach it. Okay, there we go, we got everything except this one. Whoa, it's a bit it's a bit thicker than the others. Jeez. I've created a piece of art. But Edna is blind apparently and doesn't actually notice that. So I guess we're out of options again and we have to talk to this guy again. Hey! Hello! Don't make so much noise in there! What do you want? I'm not making any noise, which ah Jesus, he's annoying. Uh, can you turn on the AC for me, please? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... Later! <laughs> uh, let me out. This is an emergency. Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? Uh, I'm a bit dizzy. I'm a bit dizzy. Well, that's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, maybe I won't. Ugh. It's much too hot it's in much here. It's too hot in here. You can take it. Thank you. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. You know we have a chair leg now, so whenever you bring us that food, we are going to be prepared. I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane if you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah. Very clever. I really have to seriously urgently go I pee. I really have to seriously urgently go pee. 
Don't try that with me. Just don't. All right then. I need to check what the weather is like. <laughs> well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside, but you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. Well, just you wait. I'm going to get oh, out of here and no you are not all. going to be That's alive anymore. Anything else? Um, I, I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, huh. you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. Really? So, so you're a famous athlete then? Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I, well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. Wow, I'm getting all dizzy. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. Oh, nice. You can cool off a bit that way. Thank you, Mr. Guy Behind Door. There's That's a draft nice. coming from behind this gap. Oh wow, now you finally notice that this one's different. Okay, so maybe we can now enlarge that gap. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Hey, so, right there, there's some screws, so that's kind of, kind of a bummer. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh, you used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. Well, right, Harvey. I guess that's good to know. There's a ventilator behind the grate. I hate grates. Grates are seriously the worst. Maybe we can you uh, we can unscrew these with the broken chair leg. It's a flathead chair leg, but a Phillips screw head. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Right, Harvey. I could just cry, Harvey. I can't loosen these screws. Ah, oh, come on. You should be able to eat screws like that for breakfast. That certainly wouldn't have stopped you when you were little. What do you mean by that? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. What is he talking about? Could I polka with my bare feet? Not exactly that. But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past. Cool. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I want Harvey to tempo morph us to the past. So maybe we'll just put him in this ventilator here. No. Harvey is my best friend. Oh, okay, Edna. All right then. How do you feel about this great, Harvey? I feel, uh, great? There must be some uh, way to uh, get through. Uh, uh, go, uh, Edna, go! Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. No. Harvey. Yeah, I know he's your best friend. Okay. All right. So uh, you were talking about tempo morphing us to the past. I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Uh, yeah. Tempo morph me to the past. Sure. What could go wrong? Yeah. Tempo morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on. <laughs> So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. 
so I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was Albert or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no. You better believe it. He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa. But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. All right, so now we can control Harvey as well. Harvey is able to collect topics via drag and drop. He can chat with Edna about them by dragging the icon onto her. If he wishes to use them later, he can collect them by dropping the icon in the toolbar on the lower rim of the screen. Walk to hint read and understood. <laughs> because great programming. Alright, so now we have Temple Morph back to the past. And I think that this is a great point to end the first video. So yeah, next time we'll see whether we can manage to break out of our cell and actually first of all figure out how we once managed to escape this basement. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.